the Crazy Dime Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dime. I'm like the explosive one, and we are going to crack into another one. TNT. You. So, we saw the Mario Brothers movie. Oh, my God. And did you see that that your song made it to the Billboard Top 100? The, the Peaches. Yeah, it, it, it debuted on the the Top 100 songs. It was number 83. Fam, I really like that song. I Honestly, I finally got it out of my head, thank God. Yeah, I'm not, yeah we don't have to start singing it. But. Oh, God, it's back. I just I heard it. You know what's funny is that that song had such like a mind virus on me that the next day, I was looking up on YouTube, Jack Black, the video to it. There's actually like two. There was one on like the lyrically, the one with like the milk carton, where yeah, it's like him. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's where you can listen to music there. Um, but uh, it was him just like in a piano, and he was like actually like playing like in piano. real life. It was like yeah. a, like a, okay. And then there's another one that's the cartoon Mario version. But honestly. He, he, I mean, it's a good song. I like it. And it's nothing to it. It's so simple. Yeah, yeah. No, no. And that's usually what happens to like make things so uh, yeah. so what, twisted. What do so. you think about the Mario movie, Jonas? It, it's been a while now. It's been like, what, a yeah, week? Yeah, we saw what, like a week or two ago. Yeah. Um, a couple weeks ago. Um, I really liked it. I, I really enjoyed it. I probably will never watch it again. No, no. There's but, not there's no not enough substance there to really want to I watch was it again. pleasantly surprised. I went in with zero expectation. Yeah. So and I don't see what everyone was talking about about Chris Pratt being so bad. Like I didn't even notice it at all. Like it was just the voice. And once it was the voice of the character. And you know, apparently uh they had shopped around a, a version of the movie where he did the Mario voice through the entire movie. Oh, instead of just like the beginning or whatever when they're messing around. But or... you, after you do that for an hour and a half of listening to that voice, you would just end up hating Yeah, the, the funny part was though, I ki- I did keep seeing Charlie Day as Luigi though. Yes. <laughs> like I his voice is so like unique. Yeah. That like I just kept seeing Charlie Day as Luigi and like I couldn't I stop like. Chuckling. I honestly feel like Charlie Day's voice as Luigi. I bought a hundred percent. You you couldn't differentiate the two. I bought it. I loved it. Yeah, it was good. I wish they had used him more, and that's probably like my my one thing is that I want to see more. Yeah, both no, of them I together. like it had a lot of cheeky parts and like a lot of like tribute to the yeah. tribute to the game, and they did some side scrolling scenes that looked like the game. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, you know, I I, I chuckled quite a few different times they had some nice jokes like i mean yeah and you know not I, anything like super great or anything but yeah and if disney ever wants to do any uh work with us in the future we can probably give them a uh, better better grades for their movie disney? a plus isn't that disney no it's nintendo no oh, that's what i meant them no no not deal with disney too and yeah nintendo. disney too Mickey and china Mouse mario crossover disney oh. china and nintendo winnie the pooh which one? I would never say such a thing, sir. And no, I meant the to, character. You need to retract your thoughts. That's not. No, this is not a game. This is not. A g- <laughs> yeah. Um, you you wait, motherfucker. You wait. When our Chinese overlords get here yeah, when and they, they find when they rappel down from the balcony above, yeah, just come smashing in the window like the SWAT team. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh. I. I feel that now that that movie has made a stupid amount of money brother it's we're, we are nuts. gonna have a in, we'll be inundated with nintendo movies like mario and i'm honestly i'm i'm here for it because i want to see a, a legend of zelda movie that that actually, will probably be do better than the mario movie I bet. yes yeah people i want to see love zelda bro i would i want to see a high budget like not necessarily like Lord of the Rings, but something, I guess, more like Dungeons and Dragons kind of Legends of Zelda, where it's like it knows it's kind of making fun of itself a little bit. I would like to see. Something. Yeah, they, um, I bet, yeah, I'm sure they'll probably do a Metroid movie. Metroid is definitely. Those are coming. probably the three. Star, I would see them doing like a Star, Star Fox, Fox movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw a, a thing online. I don't know if it was real or not, but it was like a Kirby movie, a Star Fox movie. Uh, Kirby. Uh, yeah, I don't really get into Kirby, but like they have enough. They have enough. They could do their own Donkey Kong movie. I mean, they could do a lot of stuff, man. I don't know if Donkey Kong's popular enough to like ride his whole movie. Uh, you know, honestly, I feel like he was well portrayed in the uh, in the in the uh, Mario movie so i don't know maybe 
Yeah, but, uh, I don't know. But it, yeah, apparently there was a uh, after credits scene that we we missed as well. No oh, man, where, I'm sad now. Are you? You yeah. should have stayed and watched it. Hot where take. They allude to uh, Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, gotcha. As, as the uh, hot take, the one. older I get, the less I care about after movie scenes because I can just watch them on the internet. <laughs> yeah, but you never watch them. Maybe I just don't care. Hot yeah. take, I don't care about yeah. it. I'll read. That's, that's really what I'll it read is. it up and be like, what do I care? I want your damn little last second teaser trailer that you're going to do another movie. Like, oh my God, he's not dead. No shit. <gasps> Jason's still alive. Freddy didn't die. Oh my God. I don't know when the rise of the after credits scene happened. I think it was Marvel movies. I want to swear it was Marvel. Those were the ones people uh, used to get excited for. No, they for. did it before those. I know they did it before those, but I feel like after Marvel did it and people got hyped for them, I feel like every movie does it it's now. It's dumb. Why, every why don't single they just movie. Why play it immediately? Because no one's reading the credits anyways. Have you yeah. ever retained anything from a credit? Never, no. Right, Except so it, for key grip, because I'm like, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, but is it's a just the grip? name of the position, not a person. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like an instrument or something. No, it's the. Uh, I think it's the guy. It's some sound thing or whatever. Or oh, maybe sure. I'll be like, oh, that's the name of that song that was in there. I knew the B52s had a song in this movie. Yeah, like that would yeah. be like the gist of it. Like that, I that's, never cared. That's so true, man. Your your name on the on the screen. While wow, you did do it, and that's your name, you can point at it and show your family. That's about all. Who but cares. no one else cares. No, nah. you made your money. The check is in your account. You know. Yeah, or probably spend it on other stuff. Yeah, and I mean, like, it's good, I guess. Truffle if, butts. <laughs> I guess if you're in the movie industry, you know, whether you be on the acting side, the talent side, or, you know, like the more technical side, it's good to have that paper trail for the things you've worked on so people can have, like, an assessment for yeah, your, your work. Yeah, your IMDb profile. Exactly. Uh, do key grips have their IMBD? Oh, I don't, probably not. Is, is there a tender for key grips? <laughs> I grip my key so hard. Y'all don't even know how hard my key is gripped. <laughs> is there a grinder for key grips? A grinder for key. I Let's mean, grind our keys together. I'm actually going to look up right now what a key grip you is. Can, I'll grip your key. You can the grip mine. The person in a film crew who is in charge of the camera equipment. So you're just in charge of it. You don't even. You're like the camera security guard. You're the guy with the with the goddamn handcuff around your wrist. What, to the why is this motherfucker getting the? <laughs> why is his name on movie screen after the movie? John John Smith really did a good job watching the cameras. He just watched the cameras, man. That's what I'm saying. The people who bring concessions. He probably get makes up more there. than both of us combined in a year for that movie. You know. And all he did was watch. He just loses his eyes to look at something. Right. Just like oh, there they are. Maybe he has to set him up. All right, so there's this theory. It's, this is this is going. We we gotta make it quick because I know we're running. We're running I uh, forgot to set the timer, that's so fine. we got a few minutes. All right, that's fine, 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 fine. There's this theory that there is no such thing as nepotism. Nepotism? Yes. You're there's familiar. a theory. You're familiar with. There's nepotism. also a theory that I'm rich. There's <laughs> you got you got to hear it out first. Okay, go. All right, throw it at there's me. There's this theory that there's no such thing as nepotism because. Everybody benefits from nepotism to some degree. Do they? Yes. My family has not given me anything. Malarkey. What? What? How about? What? Give a me an example of how I got a, a head because of my family. <laughs> how you got a head? Nepotism is a beneficial. I mean, thing. well, when you look at on a on a scale of zero, which is dead, to I don't know a hundred, which is being a billionaire, I think you're not dead. Yeah, but nepotism is like you got a job because your dad runs the company. Yeah, but it can also be like uh, you got a job because your mom knows the guy. Uh, or, you know, you got into this program. You got into this program after school program because, you know, your mom knows the lady at the church. Or you got it. So not everybody benefits from nepotism to the point where it's going to make you millions of dollars but everybody benefits but from how nepotism. does that mean it doesn't exist because it doesn't because it's it's bull crap because everybody has it it it's every everything is nepotism i mean the whole world is about who you know if your dad has ever gotten you a job at the car shop or you know your mom has ever gotten you to an after school program because she it's just there's so that that's nepotism you know. just as much as it is jaden smith 
It's just that he kind of won the lottery. And I don't he's... think I've ever got a job because I knew somebody. I think I've got all of my jobs of my own accord. See, I can't lie because I got into my uh, my professional line of work because I had a sister-in-law who was running a program somewhere. Oh, and gotcha. she was like, hey, why don't you come down and check it out? I was like, all right. And lo and Here behold, you are 75 years later, still still working it hard. <laughs> Still working hard for the money. Yeah, da, yeah. Da, 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 working da. hard for the money, and I don't treat you right. Ah. But uh, I guess the theory of nepotism is like, is it always familial, familial, familial? No, because it can based? be a buddy. Like, can, yeah, if my if my friend started a company and he need in like he he would and he'd be like, I'll give you a job as a CEO for making a hundred k a year. Yeah, he could do. That. I don't know anybody who has that kind of. Or or it could Pull. be or it could be one of your friends like hey they're hiring at Wendy's or hey they're hiring at Taco Bell or hey, I have definitely, that's nepotism. I have definitely helped out a friend to get them a job, but I've never been the friend who's been helped out. You, I mean, if anybody's ever told you about a job and said hey you should go apply there and you yeah, took I mean, that, I'm, that sure, I'm sure it then is that. that's nepotism. It's because you knew that person, that homeless person on the street didn't get told about that job. Nepotism's bullcrap, man. I'm just making an argument. You yeah, can argue I'm just, against I'm me. I'm just looking at the actual definition. Fair enough. The practice among those with power or influence of the favoring of favoring relatives, friends, or associates, especially by giving them jobs. Yes. Especially. So not exclusively. It's mainly job related. Ex ex especially not exclusively. No, dude. Like, because. <coughs> so. Mean, <laughs> I so mean, your friends, I mean, some some people have their friends find hook them up with chicks or dudes or whatever. You know, yeah. like, hey, I know this guy. He'd really be good for you. Look, I I hundred percent agree is that certain people are a hundred percent getting more out of life than a lot of us because of who they know. That's why I talk about networking. It's important, exactly. Because like, well, and that's like you because are the company. You are the company you keep. So it's like if you hang out with a bunch of people who sit around, have b terrible jobs, smoke crack all day, what positive <laughs> what, what, what positive things are they going to bring to your life? <laughs> really? If you hang out with a bunch of CEOs who are making six figures a year and have company, you're going to get a hell of a lot more opportunity from that than if you're hanging out with crackheads. Do, do you think that our listenership is mostly crack addicts? I would hope so. Because <laughs> I feel like you're calling them out. I'm when not you calling them like... out. These are nice, fine people. They're CEOs. It's like you're trying to get them off the pipe though so it's, it's i mean good. you gotta get off the pipe yeah guys, anyways that's if you're all doing, if you're doing episode, crack stop please <laughs> please make sure to like and subscribe for jonas tnt uh we out get off the pipe oh, oh, get off